And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on me. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to it. Fine. Go off in a huff. I'm... I'm through talking anyway. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Vigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast! I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Hmm. If you talk about call, living in the we'll past. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him, and all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man, and I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Fabulous. 
Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone we'll finish right this now, conversation so first? I should we'll get that. Get come on. As soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Cause next time, I'm making a house call. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can... Sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. You're telling me that with a place like this, you're so hard up that you need to work for the Crooked Man? The guy you're so afraid of? Bullshit. It's not like he runs the counter and hands me the boxes. I never met the guy. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, 
I'd like to know where it's coming from. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before, at the Tweedles. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> Well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. Ribs, roast, tongue. Got some tongue here. I know about the deliveries. The ones going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows in here. Beast told me. He said these packages aren't meat. Well, what else would they be? What was in that one? I've seen them before. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. 
I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You're gonna hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. Big B. Wolf would walk through my door. And I'd catch hell for their shit. All that for a shop I can't even run right. Dragging meats in through the front. That is when I even get fresh meat. Really? I don't even know what's back there. Could be anything. Shh. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. I get why you flipped that switch, but you had a choice. You could have told me. And warn them, I might be dealing with your problem right now. Told you? Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Chains? Who 
Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a... a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. Slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. He's got his hooks into everybody, and it's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. All this, it doesn't seem worth it. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. Smoking cigarettes with your feet up. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take them down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just That's gonna... Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? 
But you, I'm uh, the guy who just makes gonna. Shit. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order, you know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. And I really don't feel like mopping out this room today. So I'm giving you one more shot to thank me for my sunny attitude and generous disposition. Turn the fuck around and walk out that door with your life. Walking out with your axe or whatever other bullshit is not on the table. So get the fuck out of my sight, hit the bricks, see you later. Hey, what's going on here? The fucking hell! Christ, and this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. I'd like to see you try, you backwards <clears throat> fuckwit. Oh, big talk. You won't be talking when I'm done with you. Yeah, I'll be laughing. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. And you think I'm gonna take another inch of abuse? Are you out of your fucking mind? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle you myself. And I will... Ow! You fucking mu... Ow! Fucker! Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Oh, oh, oh. 
The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who is really running this town. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Goody brand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something. And get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. 